M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's take a look at the RS918HF SDR transceiver based on the kit created by M0NKA. Now, you, these have been around for a few years now, and yeah, they're all over Am Amazon, eBay, all that kind of stuff. So let's have a look. I've got told not to buy the ones with the orange, the one with the orange button, so I've gone for this one. Also been watching the videos by N5ID, that's John, about calibrating this. I'm going to watch them in detail, but this is just, let's unbox, turn the device on, and then we'll just t see what we can listen to. We're not going to transmit, just out of the box. Let's get everything out. We've got, what's this here we have at the top? It's well packaged, it's a very compact unit. Some basic operating instructions. I'll link in some other instructions as well that I found. Okay, let's lift off what's here. Outside of the box, there was a uh, a power a power adapter. I'll show you that. That was this device here, twelve volt, four amp, and that was it. Outside, but came with this package. There's our little DC adapter. Okay, power lead jet. I've also got a UK one here. Adapter if required. And microphone. Now I saw some, some with, with microphones that were suitable for, for Yesu, but I'm not sure about that. Anyway, you've got a BNC adapter there, that's worth a couple of pounds, isn't it, straight away. So thanks for that. Allen key. Side handle, so that's what the Allen key is for. Grab the transceiver out the box. So it, I like the size of it, it's QRP, but they, they've definitely packed a lot inside this, this box. Power cable there as well for my adapter. Interesting how the end is there. I wonder how that works, the way that's... It's marked the positive. Why has it got this sort of connector thing at the end? Not sure, but anyway, that's the, the other end. And the microphone is one of these, I, I'm guessing it might even work with uh, my SM17, because that's the same kind of thing. We'll test that. SM17 for my Yesu FT70. Because uh, I've, I've got the SM17, so it'd be nice to have a better a better microphone. So that's the one that comes in the box. Sure, that'd be useful for something. Very well packaged, yeah. I think double boxed. And look, they've covered it in this stuff here. It's got the bag. I always wonder what these things do. They always, they're always in the box. I wonder what they actually do. So, let's just take this tape off. Like so does have a, sp a screen protector on there as well that you can see Let's take these, these these bits off i mean straight away i like it i mean i'm a gadget person so anything with lots of buttons and connectors that's your, your nine volt the little plate stander that's what that side button's for it so you can stand it up on the side bnc USB that says DFU, so I'm guessing that's where you do your firmware. Antenna connector there. And I, now, does this have a battery in it? I don't think so. I think you have to power it. Pretty sure you do. ACC key, line in, line out, phone and mic. And then, yeah, this is the one with the black buttons. So, someone tell me why. That's better. Volume, RF, RRT. If I just hold down that. Yeah, I didn't think there was a battery in it. So it's basically a very compact mobile device. You know, like I'm not comparing it to the aircraft. I'm saying that it's that kind of thing where it's small. CW, 15 watts is more than you're ever going to need. And when correctly, uh, when the correct parameters are put in this, it has a very good reputation and the reviews are, are actually quite good. So let's get some power to this. I'll add the side handles. I think I got lucky with these side handles. I didn't realize they were actually included. Right, let's turn it on. Something's happening. I'm not sure why it's saying TX though. Wow. That screen. That screen is absolutely beautiful. Straight away, without any adjustment, I love that the quality is 
it's actually better in real life, a lot better in real life, I'd say, than what you're seeing. Let's just quickly go to a band where I might have some activity. Now remember, I haven't set the parameters up for this device. So, don't really know what we're doing. So this is the volume here, squelch here. You can see adjustments that are being made here. Now I tapped something by accident. You see that? As I push that button, it's moving it around here. Wow, this is good. I, I had squelch there, but then I pressed something. I'm pressing the buttons here. You can see it a bit better. The mode AM FM narrow. The power at the top there. It's very. They're very close together. See that, and then we're tapping the meters as well. Um, let's just go up to, I'm just turning the, the large VFO. Turn the squelch down. Now it's, it's now saying BAS before that said squelch. So it doesn't matter, just go up anyway, let's find a signal. Right, there's a big signal there. Let's just work out how to do the squelch. We've got the volume. Okay, pressing the mode button here was easier. I definitely like this. And it was £250 delivered. I can't think that there's a tuner in this. Let's do this step thing. So there's your step changing here. As you can see, one megahertz. It does say tune here. So you're telling me there is a tuner? It definitely says tune. Someone's calling CQ. Plugged in my microphone. But um, why does that why does that kill the audio when I did that? Hmm. Maybe I plugged it in the wrong place. Oh, it says phone. Okay, mic. Power. And where's the SWR on this? A lot of selections. If you look here, if you tap here. You're going through the bands there again. The touch screen's really fine. Always blanker. Bandwidth. RTTY digital. Free DV that they talked about. It's just excellent, isn't it? There's, there's a lot here, look. It's starting to decode. We're not on the right frequency, but it's good that it's doing it. There, is, I've seen a, a more advanced waterfall as well. We'll learn how to do that. Think. Don't you press um, press both of the up? Yeah. Press the two. I saw that in a video. That's not color at the moment. Let's change the step. So that's easier, just moving the step along like that. So 
So we've lost our tune here that we had. We need to learn about the colours here. I haven't even gone into the menu yet, have I? Turn it off and on a minute because I'm not sure what I did. Oh, it said it does save settings. So if you make changes, Can someone tell me about the tune side. Go back to that for now. If I move away, you're going to say read the manual, but it's only an unboxing. It's quite busy, isn't it? See that? It says tune, but, I mean, there is an antenna in, but it doesn't detune, if that makes sense. And then if I key the mic, at the moment it's showing ALC, right, SWR, let's have a look. M0FXB, test, test, test. So the SWR, M0FXB test is showing as OK. So I think that's enough for an unboxing. I'm very, very pleased with it. It really looks like a, you get a real good deal here. It may actually have a built-in tuner. What's that label saying? Always connect with an antenna, of course. Once I learn, I'm going to watch some of John M5 ID's videos, which I recommend you do as well. I'm going to tinker. 
looks like we've got a menu there. I, I don't want to change any configuration on that. Exit there. Split mode, what's snap? Bandwidth. Can't see that changing at the moment. Got you cycling through when you push DSP, cycling through the noise reduction. I'm getting quite a few other stations coming in there, so I, I just feel like my settings are wrong. We've got NR there, which one do we change? There it is there. You know, as I've been told, there is a setup for this and it looks like we've got other channels coming in close by. But the screen, honestly, that screen is beautiful. You think this is £250 delivered? And you can just pick it up. You've got a little battery somewhere. Connect it to your car battery. And you're off doing DX. Take it on the beach. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Lots more videos to follow. We'll, we'll, we will bit by bit start doing configuration videos, going through how to use the menus, learning all the different parameters. They've been very clever with this firmware. They've done it in a way where you can use the touch screen if you like, but all of the buttons are pretty much doing everything. Let's push the, look at that, there's your, Pushing that for you think if I hold it. So your step, you got step there, step there, change the mode here, here. So bye for now, all the best.